Martial arts are great, and if they can be successfully used on the street, though strictly for self-defense, it's awesome. I'm not afraid of walking down the streets at night. Always, when I am in a company of close friends, the jokes begin. They ask me kindly, please don't hurt us, don't hurt us. We will behave ourselves well. What is Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu? And why is it called chess on a tatami? In our program, our heroes will answer this question. Hello, guys. Привет. Guys, what are your names and what will you tell us today in our program? I am Maxim. I am Roma. I am Maria. We engage in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and today we will show you what kind of sport it is and why it is worth practicing. How much time does it take to master this thrilling sport to be able to physically fend off bullies in the streets? Everything probably depends on how fast you can run from the sea. <laughs> How do your friends feel about what you are engaged in? Is no one afraid of starting an argument with you? We gradually invite our friends to work out. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is a type of struggle. The main aim is to put your enemy on the ground, control him and apply the finishing technique by suffocation or pain. The only difference from other forms of martial arts is that in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, a lighter, weaker partner possessing a technical arsenal has the physical ability to defeat a larger, heavier and stronger rival. The first reason is good physical shape, the second – achieving your goals, the third – a cool company. The first reason is to become stronger, the second – to be stress-resistant, and the third – to make new friends. The first reason is harmonious physical and spiritual development of yourself as an individual. The second, communication with like-minded people. And the third, achieving small victories every day. There are a lot of girls in Ukraine, though this sport is not very common among girls. Jiu-Jitsu is an art of self-defense. There are many training programs of this form of sport offered in the U.S. The greatest thing that brings me pleasure from engaging in jiu-jitsu classes is that I can keep myself in good physical and mental shape. Also, it is a great way to release stress after a hard day's work. I have been practicing Brazilian jiu-jitsu for only one and a half years. I started practicing after training my son. Sitting there waiting for him after the training session, the coach approached me and suggested not to waste time in vain, but join the adult training, and so I agreed to give it a shot. I will be extremely frank here. Someone who comes to practice for the first time naturally experiences discomfort, if they had never previously engaged in a fight. The fun comes when you constantly practice without breaks, then you start to see your success. The first cool moment is when you manage to put your partner down on the mat and finish first. It's an incredible feeling when you realize how your technical arsenal grows and that you are able to control not only your own body, but also that of your partner. The first time I came to the gym to learn Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu was about six years ago. Prior to that, I never had any experience in wrestling. I practiced other martial arts, well, like everyone. So I went to the gym. At some point, I became fascinated as a fan of mixed martial arts. I knew that one must have such a physical form to fight exactly on a mat. I knew that there was an art as Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. It seemed to me at that moment as something quite exotic. So I came to the gym and I liked it. I was engaged in boxing and also martial arts, but this base did not help in any way with jiu-jitsu. I've been thrown in this sport and keep being thrown in this sport for two years. I came to try the first training session and the next day I put on my kimono at 7.30 in the morning. I have been training for about two years. I found out purely by chance. I saw ads of the gym, which opened not far from my home and decided to give it a try. 
There are already quite a few cities in Ukraine where there are sections, clubs. Besides Kyiv, there are also clubs in Kropivnitsky, Odessa, Dnipro and Lviv. During the six years that I have been practicing, I see that this form of sport is purely exotic. It is becoming more popular, more and more people are coming for training lessons. I can see the number of beginners who come to our hall and other halls, and the number of clubs is growing throughout Ukraine. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu training includes warm-ups, technical training and wrestling. Now the guys will show several elements of a warm-up, which are different from those in other types of wrestling. This exercise is called shrimp, especially designed to develop mobility of the thighs, which is the main distinctive force in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. This exercise is called somersault on the shoulders. It is also rarely seen in other types of fighting sports. In Jiu-Jitsu it is used very often. And one more exercise called side twisting is done especially to work on the mobility of the hips and the shoulder girdle. My first Jiu-Jitsu training session was unforgettable. I felt like a log that couldn't do anything or move in any way because there were so many unusual movements. But it was definitely quite a lot of fun. I started from the women's group. There were only girls and female humor was supportive. In this way, the time for tying hair braids passes quickly and with a bang. I quickly became involved in training, because the process itself is very exciting. Though I must admit that many of the elements are not immediately understood. Despite this, it becomes more and more interesting. I am thrilled when something turns out great. The main difficulty in Jiu-Jitsu is to show strong endurance, because the trainings are very intense. Then after working out the techniques, it is always a struggle. Therefore, the key element is to work hard in order to develop your physical endurance. There are tough times from the very beginning, especially if you are a lightweight girl. There are many men around you who are heavier, and it is difficult to sometimes believe in your strength. Because you think something is wrong with your body, and when you are still studying, there is no density, and it seems to you that you have been crushed by a mass, and there is no way out of this situation. But the most important thing is not to forget to ask the coach for any suggestions to find out the answers to questions like what exactly, with what weight is it better to use, and how to do it right. Then you can get out of any situation and cope with any partner. It was something very new and not pleasant. I did not like it. I was not accustomed to such close contact with someone else. There were positions in which I had never been before. My body resisted, and it was all unnatural for me. Well, all newcomers go through this. For me, it was an absolutely uncharted sea. I want to say what convinced me. Although I fought at the first training session with guys who were smaller and lighter, in some cases by nearly 20 kilograms, so they did everything with me that they wanted. And I could not understand. I resisted with all my strength, but I couldn't oppose their technique. I saw that this is an effective form of single one-on-one -on -one combat, and I realized that even a smaller partner can do everything and anything they want with me, particularly if they have the necessary technical arsenal. At first it is very difficult to understand how your body should move properly. Most of the movements that the coach showed were quite specific for me. I didn't understand what I was doing and basically moved like a sack of potatoes. I constantly fell, it was not comfortable. There are always difficulties for every newcomer who tries out this sport for the first time. There is no recipe, like some life hack that everyone wants. Here I would advise others, only come to train as often as you can and as your body allows. 
I remember the first training as if it was today. It was a Saturday. I came to try without knowing anything and in general. They just threw me down and choked me. After that, I was so enthralled that I didn't allow myself to miss more than two days of training in a row. At first, it was difficult to engage in even three times a week, because the load is not typical for the body and it was difficult to adapt. I simply did not have enough time to recover in a day. Then I slowly began to get involved three times a week. If the matter was about some kind of competition, then I trained even more often, four or five times a week, while I just listened to my body. If I mustered up the strength to stand up, pack my gym bag and go for training, then I went. Probably the most difficult thing is to realize is that you are learning the proper technique. Then you start to get into sparring, but you see no results from such hard work. That's when you ask yourself, why is it not working out? After a while, you see that the base is there, and that is very motivating and satisfying. Now the guys will show several tricks from the close guard position. This position is quite distinctive. It is very often used in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and is not so often used in other kinds of wrestling. The preparatory exercise is a shrimp in pairs. Then we change the exercise. These are preparatory exercises for performing the Kimuro pain techniques. Then we changed to the combat technique called Arumbar. Now you have seen several basic painful techniques. In fact, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is now actively developing, and all these techniques are being modified, and it is moving into more effective forms of fighting. And all this is happening because the competitive form of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fighting is very actively developing with every year. Competitions are held in two disciplines – wrestling in gi, a kimono and wrestling without a kimono, where people fight simply in t-shirts and shorts. I want to say that our athletes successfully perform in different categories. Usually our teammates never come home without medals around their necks. For a year and a half, I took part in several competitions – Kyiv Open and Ivano-Frankivsk Open. In addition, I competed at the Championship of Ukraine, and after several victories, I decided to try to go abroad to the Poznan Open, the Munich Open and the Copenhagen Open. I brought home a gold medal from Copenhagen. People who practice jiu-jitsu are very sociable people, regardless of the country in which they were born and live. Everyone is always happy to welcome rivals even at trainings. In any city that you come to, you can attend any training session and will be welcomed with open arms, and you will be glad to practice anywhere in the world. Jiu-jitsu is more than a sport, it's a culture, and despite the fact that people compete with each other, they share some common values, therefore our common language is appropriately called the language of jiu-jitsu. I was glad to meet you guys. The feeling is mutual. So come again, we await you in training. Ciao for now.